So you do Muay Thai and you get bruises like this. Well, I'm gonna show you a few ways on how you can continue training. Number one, ignore it. Anyway, anyway. Shin conditioning is really funny because there's there's always people on the internet that are just like, oh, you gotta, you gotta do the, the, the stick thing and you know, maybe one day you'll have uh, legs of steel like mine. Shin conditioning in Muay Thai uh, has something to do with both of these things. I got paper towels and a stick and I'll get to it in just a second. If you think about your leg and the way that you build bone over time is you have to stress it enough so your body looks at it and goes, hey, that needs to be reinforced in a way that makes it stronger. The, the concept of microfractures comes through repeated stress. Now, one of the misconceptions that you hear on the internet and see people doing is they'll take these sticks and they'll like, they'll roll it up and down the leg, okay? This doesn't do anything for your kicks. This is purely mental. This only gets you used to the fact that the pain isn't something you have to wince away from. Even like the clicking of this, be like, oh, but if I do it hard enough, you know, I'll create like the dents and everything in my shin. And then, you know, when I heal and stuff, it'll, it'll be stronger and full of bone. Sure, sure, okay, it does that. But if you look at how thick, the shin actually is, okay? The thing that you're actually doing, right? If this is like your whole leg, when you tap it, you're only going to be making the outer part of the shin denser through the little taps that you have on your shins. Now, I can do this to my shins that hard because I've done Muay Thai for a long time, so like, It'll be a while before it starts like hurting, but even then, like I'm not gonna condition my shin to do anything. This is actually just hurting myself. The thing that you wanna do to affect the inside of the bone, which is the part that you actually need to protect yourself, the density, comes from pressure this way. Now, how do you create pressure on the inside if you're only tapping here? Okay, you can't. So the way that you create the inside pressure over time is by hitting the heavy bags and then running, okay? Not running with shoes that have too much cushion. The constant impact on the ground creates your shin to build the strength vertically, if that makes sense. This part, every time that you hit the bags, happens when you kick as hard as you can and it shakes the whole bone because then what ends up happening is that because you're affecting even the middle of it, you will be growing the bone on the inside. Doing this part, if you look at it, is just the skin. If my shin bone is like two or three inches thick and I'm just doing this, just on the corner of it, can I afford to roll my entire bone? No, like I can't get underneath of the bone either. This doesn't make any sense. Like. This, this is now just foam rolling. This is on my calf. So like if you're looking at like doing all this stuff, you'd be like, oh, but how do those, how do those people do, um, what you call, how do the people, you know, kick those things? They trained for like five or six years, like years of experience that you cannot shortcut the process just because you think this looks cool, okay? Like it's funny to me because like whenever, whenever I go and I talk to people about Muay Thai and they're just like, oh, are your shins like, super, super dent, uh, dense, it like, it clicks, so. Hello, Stamp. <laughs> Stamp is here, yeah, <laughs> that's fun. Um, I hope your recovery is going well. Sadie cup. So yeah, the, the shin conditioning, especially like when you do like your jump rope and stuff, running helps a lot, 